Okay, hi everybody. This is Teacher Cheska, and we are now moving on to the afternoon session of Science Nine, Module One, Day One. Um, this is Lesson Four. So earlier I recorded Lesson Three. So let's move on to Lesson Four, as you've noticed in your weekly home learning plan. So here. We will be tackling the parts and functions of the human circulatory system. So let's dive in. So on your previous lesson, you've tackled the parts and functions of the human respiratory system. And in this lesson, you will learn about the circulatory system and how it works with the respiratory system. So you have to read this, okay? So read this one and then... You can continue to less activity number one, the crossword puzzle. Okay, so basically, this um, topic will let you know about the major parts and functions of the circulatory system. So let's move on. So this is the first one: is what's new? Okay. The circulatory system or cardiovascular system is a network consisting of blood, blood vessels, and the heart. And below is an activity for you that will help you identify the components of the circulatory system. Alright, so this, is, uh, this activity will serve as a springboard in your lesson. Okay, so what you will do guys Kopyaho na to ni Tanan, okay, in your answer sheets. So, on your answer sheets, you put there activity 1, under lesson 4, activity 1, crossword puzzle, circulatory system. Okay? So, you will identify the components of the circulatory system. So, on your answer sheets, kopyaho ni, please, 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 kopyaho nung tarong, iapo nung tarong ang boxes para di mawala. Okay. Okay. Just this one will be okay. Sa kanilang puzzle, crossword puzzle ang inyong kopyahon. All right. So how do we do this? So if it says here number three, a system that is made up of the heart, blood vessels, and the blood. Hmm, familiar. So mo adto dayon mo sa three across. So three. Okay, hold on. Three. Across, diba? So, asa man na si 3 across, nara si 3, right? And this is across. So, sorry, okay, that's, that's not it, but, wait, let me try the, another, okay, that's that one, another color. Alright, so, basically, ang imong, here. So, dinidin ka. So, muni siya ang words na imong pangitawan. So, it starts with the letter C. So, you have to fill up the words here. No? Kani. Kani. And so, may letters ani. Alright? So, ang meaning daw ani na word kay a system that is made up of the heart, blood vessels, and the blood. Okay. Mag nabasahan mo na na to. I'm not sure ganina. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Diba? Okay, so nana dyang answer. So which one is it? Is it this one? Or this one? Okay, that's up. That's for you to find out. <laughs> Alright. So that's how you do it. Now, kung gipangayo naman is down. Okay. So one down. One down. So, pasabot ani, the largest artery. So, this one here. One down. Okay, so, kani ang imong pangitaon. So, you fill up the letters here and here. No? So, isulat ang letters na na. Are we clear? Alright. So, let's continue. Okay, so after answering your activity number one under lesson four, the crossword puzzle, we will now continue to read page 16. Okay, so 
So this is page 16. So you will find out here the major parts of the circulatory system, the heart, blood vessels, and the blood. So here is the heart, kita nato dini, and the parts of the heart. So the heart is made of specialized cardiac muscle tissue that allows it to act as a pump within the circulatory system. And these are the different parts of the heart. So you have the aorta, the left atrium, the right atrium, the left ventricle, and the right ventricle. Okay. So just continue reading this and you will find out what are their functions and what do they do, no? What the heart does. Sumaboan. Sumaboan na to that your heart basically pumps blood to every corner and small space in your body. Okay? It's very, um, the heart's function is very important. Siyempre, no? And that blood has oxygen. So, that will help us stay alive. Alright? So, just continue reading that. And then, it says there that you have to answer activity number two. In activity number two, you have to identify the parts of the heart. Simple. Right? Okay. So, here, you have to copy. You really have to copy this, okay? Because you will be writing down the letters of your answer. So, for example, if your answer is letter A, excuse me, alright? So, here, i-drawing na to ni, okay, kopyahon. Pangitaon din ninyo, asama ni si inferior vena cava, okay? And then, you have to write down the letter there. Alright? So, for example, asa man si aorta. Diba? Then, you write it down. And then, you have to answer the guide questions. Please, as much as possible, limit your sentence or your answer from one to three sentences only. Okay? And then, you continue reading on. The blood vessels. Alright, what are the blood vessels and what are the arteries, the venules? So, these are all very important things that you have to know. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Then, you continue with the blood. So, the major parts, the three major um, parts of our circulatory system is basically you have the heart, the blood vessels and the blood. All right. Then you continue to read page 17 and 18 or this one. You have what's more. What are the different types of circulation? And then continuing, you have to answer activity number three. The coronary circulation. Okay. So, after learning about the three types of circulation, this is the pulmonary circulation. It's the one that provides the blood flow from the heart to the lungs and back to the heart. So, there's kind of like an exchange, but it's a circuit. Then, you have the systemic circulation. is a circuit that allows the blood to flow from the heart to the rest of the body, but not including the lungs. Kasi yung heart going to the lungs, tawag ana, pulmonary circulation. Pag the heart going to other parts of the body, we call it systematic circulation. And the coronary circulation is a circuit that strictly provides blood to the tissues of the heart. When the heart pumps and it gives blood to the rest of the tissues within the heart, we call it coronary circulation. Okay, so now you answer activity number three. All right, here you have to trace the flow of the blood through the heart and explain how the lungs and the heart work together to transport nutrients. So, kung sa tumbuhaton, kopyahon. Okay, kopyahon nato ni. Using the heart diagram, 
label the empty boxes with the correct answers to show the coronary circulation of the blood. Kung sa ganitong coronary, it is when the heart pumps blood to the rest of the blood tissues in the heart. Diba? Sulod lang. Tire lang siya. Okay. So, you answer this. So, as much as possible, um, you don't need to draw this part anymore. But you can just draw this, this diagram. Okay? So, ang atong isulat sa atong answer sheet, kani siya na diagram. Kani na box. Kani mga boxes, ug arrow, ug kani mga ngalan. Ato ng kopyahon. Ayaw na lang ni siya kopya, ha? Pero kung ibutan ni mo, okay, rasad. Pero kung wala, okay, ragyapon. And then, answer the guide questions. Based on the diagram above, <coughs> excuse me, Explain how the lungs and the heart work together to transport nutrients, gases, and other molecules to and from the different parts of the body. Okay? So, he explained din mo. So, this is where we will know kung nakasabot pagintag unsa ang coronary circulation. Okay? So, after doing that, you have to answer activity number four. Organize me. Now, this is, the objective for this is to identify the components of the circulatory system. And you describe the different types of circulation. Okay, copy and answer, Gapunta Dani. Using the given concept map, you fill in the missing parts, description, and functions to complete the entire concept. Okay. So, under the circulatory system, there are three parts. Okay, so blank, blood vessel, and blank. And then, this one pumps the blood throughout the body. This one, so many yung function. And this one carries the materials throughout the body. It says there are three different types of circulation. What are those? Okay, it's here. But here, the blood vessel, there are three different types of blood vessel. Sorry about that. Okay. So, you just complete this concept map. Okay? And after doing this, you go on and read the summary on page 22. Okay. So, let's go continue. Okay. Basa ko na ni Tanan. So, this is the overall recap na ni, no? From respiratory system and then it goes to the circulatory system or the cardiovascular system. So, that's the summary of our lesson for module 1. And after reading this properly, pagbasa na to ani, pwede na dahil ka mag-answer sa atong post-test. Okay. Sa so post-test, no need to copy and answer. You can answer directly. On numbers 1 to 5, you have to match lang, no? Match the words in column A to the answer in column B. So, you just write down the letter of your answers. Okay? In the next part, in part 2, you have multiple choice. Again, pwede na po answers only. Okay? Write capital letters. And then that's it. Good luck, guys. And please um, continue uh, to watch. We have more videos coming up for the next of the days. Thank you. Bye.